Good evening. I wanted to do a quick book review of the book 14 Days by Joseph D. Niermeyer. And uh, I have read this book. I was finished with it. Oh, I guess I've been finished with it for a week, maybe two. And I'm just now getting around to doing the, uh, the book review for it. Uh, I did get my physical copy of the book Seven Days, which is obviously the, uh, the book that came out before 14 Days. And uh, I do plan on getting the physical copy of 14 Days. These books are just really, really incredible. And one thing I do like about the physical book is uh, the print, and it's not super, super small. So um, pretty easy to read, although I'll probably never read <laughs> the physical book because I don't want to mess up, mess up the bind on the book or anything. So I just really, really wanted a copy of, of both of the books. So as soon as I can, I'll be getting the physical copy of 14 Days. So anyway, let's get on with this uh, review on 14 Days. So if you'd watched the review on 7 Days, I thoroughly enjoyed the book. It was a really, really good book. And I honestly thought it would probably be hard to top. Well, I was, I was wrong. Uh, 14 Days is just amazing it is so much more involved it is so much more intense i guess is a, a good word to put on it and um, it was the reading experience uh, was unlike the other books any of the other books in the genre that i've read so it was just an incredible book i, I cannot emphasize enough uh, how good these books are and I certainly can't emphasize enough how realistic these books are. Now that is the thing that I take away from them above everything else is the absolute realism in the books. Everything from the timing of events to the types of events to, and this is, this is a big thing, the psychological reactions. Those are so spot on in both books. And that's something that you, you might find with other authors, but there's a, there's a caveat with Joe's books. And, uh, and that caveat is the emotion. And, and I'm going to get into that in just a moment. Again, I'm going to do my best not to spoil anything in the book. What, what I hope to do is just give you kind of a little bit of an insight as to what I think over all of the book without giving away the story. And uh, I couldn't... I couldn't recommend them anymore. Uh, if you have Kindle Unlimited, you're in luck because both 7 Days and 14 Days will cost you nothing to read if you have Kindle Unlimited. Uh, I know it says audiobook. It says it's free with membership trial. I don't know how the audiobook thing works, so I don't know if that's even after your trial period. You know, if you sign up. I can't promise you after the trial period that it's still free. I don't know how that works. I, I, I'm not into audiobooks. So uh, the Kindle book, if you do not have Kindle Unlimited, is $4.99. So, and the physical copy of the book like this, um, and both, it's, the prices are the same for 7 days and 14 days. For the physical paperback, uh, it's going to be $13.99. So... Uh, that gives you a rundown on the cost of the books. And uh, now let's get to about the book. So, and I'm going to be speaking more to 14 days and 7 days. But to tell you the truth, it applies to both. But even more so in 14 days. So, and I have it on good authority that there's another book coming out. At least one more book in the series coming out. And, uh, and I think I know the title for it. We'll have to see. But I think the title for it is going to be The Long Haul. And, uh, and that's just by a little hint that's given at the very end of uh, 14 days. So I didn't spoil anything so much with that. So let's get on. Um, one thing I noticed about these books, about Joe's writing style, is that um, it's unlike a lot of the writing styles I've seen. Whereas, in a chapter, uh, you may go different people to different people, you know, from one scene to another scene, 
you know, just within paragraphs of a single chapter. And while I've seen other authors do that, they typically add some type of a break. It might even be just some type of a little symbol. I think Angry American uses uh, uh, like a little symbol of barbed wire or something whenever he does that. And, uh, and Joe's books aren't like that. You'll just jump around from, from character to character, from scene to scene. And it's really, to be honest, it's really entertaining how it's done. Um, it always keeps you thinking. It always keeps you engaged, especially not having any type of a visual clue that that's about to happen. Um, and I like it. Personally, I think that's a, uh, a really nice style. Now, here is one thing, and I wrote down some notes here um, because there were some things that I just did not want to lose out as far as with my memory uh, because they were really important, at least to me, it's really important when reading a book. And what I have, uh, what I have here is a note that speaks about how as you're reading the book and a uh, situation gets more involved and gets more into it, uh, I couldn't help because I, I try to read books like this slowly. I try to let as much of the information, as much as the emotion, I try to literally let that scene play out in my mind because to me that's the most entertaining part of reading the book. And it almost seems hard to do uh, in some parts of the books because they are written so well that your mind automatically speeds up. And for me anyway, the reading, my, my tempo of reading speeds up too. And I'll notice I'll go from just slowly a relaxed read into I'm just, I'm just full bore reading that sucker as fast as I can. And I actually make myself slow down, pack up, and, and reread over because I don't want to miss anything. And, uh, and, but that, is, that to me uh, tells me just how well written the books are, how well the scenes are laid out. Uh, there is one other author that I think writes uh, in that manner pretty well. And, uh, and, you know, that's Franklin Horton and his, um, his, uh, ah, I can't even think of that. The Borrowed World series is uh, very much so like that. So, uh, however, here's the thing. And that this is where Joe differed from, from say Franklin's books. Uh, this pace would really pick up. I mean, really pick up, and almost uncontrollably, you would be just reading voraciously, if I could say that. And then the next thing you know, the scene will, will kind of open up and unfold, and, and it just stops. And with it, your heart stops, and, and your mind stops, and depending on, you know, there were some parts in the book to where I, I just had this blind rage at the situation, the scene that was, that was setting before me, and to be able to do that to that level, to be able to put me, I mean, literally in a, in a, and I wasn't like, I was state of rage walking around the house screaming or anything like, that's not what I'm saying. But mentally, emotionally, after reading that, I was, I was in a blind rage. I, I mean, I was so identifying with the characters that I just, I was pissed. And I found that uh, very intriguing. I found that just incredible. It, it was, it was absolutely awesome to, uh, to have that happen to me. And then, you know, the next thing you know, you went here from, from reading as fast as you could because you just, you felt compelled to, to then you're just sitting there thinking about that scene that just played out and, and where it left you. And what, and I have never had an author do that to the same level as what Joe did that, especially in 14 days. There's one scene, I'm not gonna give away the book, but there is one scene, oh my goodness, um, unbelievable, unbelievable. There is one thing I want to know about the psychological effects and, and the psychology itself in the books. It is completely raw. 
I mean, completely raw. I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, authors, and I think in their books, I think, I, I don't know if they're actually holding back, but they're, in my opinion, held back, especially with the psychological responses. Joe doesn't do that. Joe puts it on the table right in front of you. And, and to me, hats off to you, Joe, for that. That is, that is incredible. Um, the, the level of raw emotion, and, and it's just uncapped, completely uncapped. And to me, that, that is what sets these books above any of the others that I've read, right there, that raw emotion. Um, and, you know, here's the thing. Let me see. Um, the... Um, the, the name of the book of 14 Days is 14 Days the Reckoning. Reckoning, And, you know, you could look up the exact, you know, definition of, of reckoning, uh, which is very accurate to, to what is experienced with the book or what happens in the book. But the most interesting thing that I noticed about the book is not only was there just this overall general reckoning, I mean, of, of everybody, even, you know, tons of people that aren't specifically covered directly in the book. There's this big reckoning. And, you know, that is going to happen. That is a very realistic scenario. But as, as the story plays out, you realize that it's not just a reckoning of, of just the general, general population of everybody. It goes through as multiple different characters have their own personal reckoning. And that is just, I mean, it makes me giddy thinking about it because I have never seen, again, back to the raw emotion, just so much raw emotion, so much reality behind everything that's laid out. Um, the story is quite believable I mean it's 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 very very much realistic as in you know yeah it's it's a strong possibility these things could happen I I love the books from other authors I I do love the going home series by angry American you know I love the world world series by Franklin Horton and of course who doesn't love the the one second after series by William Borshin but the problem with those is and, and I hope I don't spoil too much here, but um, the positions, I, I'll try not to spoil too much, uh, but the positions, okay, the, the position of the main character in the Going Home series, just as the position of the main character in the One Second After series, um, they both wind up in, in unlikely positions, and, and especially in the Going Home series, uh, there's a lot of very unlikely situations and a lot of very unlikely happenstances and it, and it becomes a little more heavy on the entertainment aspect than what it is the reality aspect and and that is that along with the raw emotion are the two biggest takeaways that I get from Joe's books so I, I couldn't encourage you anymore I, I really can't so again uh, for, for both the books, 7 Days and 14 Days, uh, right now if you've got Kindle Unlimited, it'd cost you goose eggs to, to read them. Um, as far as if you don't have Kindle Unlimited and you have to buy the Kindle version, that's going to be $4.99 each. And if you want the paperback version, which they are absolutely beautiful books, uh, $13.99 each for the paperback physical version of the book. So... I'll leave the link, uh, both links to 7 Days and 14 Days. There'll be affiliate links. I'll leave them down in the description of the video. And uh, first comment, I don't know what else to add to it. I, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I'm the last person to say that this or that should be required re reading or anything like that. If, if you're into preparedness, if, if you're a prepper of, of any level, yeah. This is as close to a must read as you're going to get. And the reason why is because of the level of realism, because the accuracy and the timing. Uh, Joe 
is a very, very well thought out man. And I think he's got a really good handle on uh, the psychology of, of the general people and even psychology of those that are more prepared. And he most certainly displays that knowledge, that, that high, level, high level of knowledge of that psychology in his books. I just, I couldn't say it any more than that. I mean, it is incredible. So anyway, couldn't encourage you more. If, uh, if you pick them up, seven days, 14 days, and, uh, you know, you read them, let me know. Let me know what you thought. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Shalom.